So I searched far and wide for what might be the side effects, because there aren't any risks of using CBD-rich cannabis unless you smoke it. What might be the side effects of CBD-rich cannabis? And I came up with four items. And two of them THC cannabis has in common. So the, these two are, they can cause dry mouth, and they can cause relaxed muscles to a point where it might be uncomfortable, like loose stools. That's it. Those are the two side effects that both THC and CBD have in common. The dry mouth is a real problem. And tell you the truth, in old folks, having looser stools was not really a problem. It was kind of a good effect, but it's called a side effect. And then CBD does two other things. It could possibly interfere with your sleep. If you take too little, which is not really too little, if you take the average lower dose. And you could develop a tolerance to CBD such that you need to talk about withdrawal syndrome the same as you do with THC. If you're using CBD to treat anxiety or seizures or inflammation or anything, you have to know that when you stop, you're stopping a medicine that is acting in your body and you might get a return of your symptoms. So as with any medicine, THC, CBD, or any medicine that's helping your body to take care of a certain medical condition or symptom, when you stop that medicine, it's called withdrawal. And it's called you're not treating your symptom anymore. Is that called dependence? Many articles talk about cannabis dependence in that if you take away the medication, People say they're dependent on it to treat their symptoms, kind of the same way you use blood pressure medicine to treat your blood pressure. Are you dependent on it? Yeah, only if you want to control your blood pressure. So it gets to be a really kind of gray zone out there, whether you're talking about positive effects, negative effects, risks, contraindications, because it all depends on your point of view about what effects you want and what effects you're willing to use this medicine for to treat versus a pharmaceutical, which might have worse side effects.